Dreams are this massive gray area in sleep science that we barely understand. What are dreams? Why do we dream? Does everyone dream? Some people think they have all the answers, but there's no real science to back them up. Sorry, that dream reader you spent $60 on was just telling you what you wanted to hear. So let's get into what we do know about dreams, where they come from, and how they impact our sleep. Let's start by giving dreams an official definition. Dreams are simply thoughts, feelings, or images that occur while you sleep. Most people experience visual imagery, but dreams can also involve your other senses. Anything can happen in a dream, but several studies have pinpointed the more common aspects. Most people dream in first person. The content is often illogical, absurd even, and there are usually other people interacting with the dreamer. Your brain tends to incorporate elements from your waking life into the dream, like those super stressful dreams you have about work when everything goes wrong. But while most people agree on the what, it's the why that we can't quite figure out. Sleep experts have developed several working theories to answer the age-old question of why we dream. Some think dreams are your brain's way of consolidating memories, while others believe it's how the brain rehearses emotional situations, like processing the difficult conversation you had at work or the fun night you had with friends. There's also the theory that dreams are like mental housekeeping, a way of tidying up your brain of useless information. Instant replay theory suggests your brain uses dreams to relive recent events. But if those events were in a Salvador Dali painting, Finally, some researchers dismiss any deeper meaning and think dreams are simply a byproduct of brain activity and don't serve any real purpose. Is that true? They're not nothing. They kind of mean something. The average person dreams for about two hours every night, whether they can remember it or not. And while you can dream during any sleep stage, the most vivid dreams occur during rapid eye movement or REM sleep. Your brain basically kicks into overdrive during REM sleep. These dreams are usually vivid, bizarre, and fantastical, while non-REM dreams are more coherent and logical. But are these incredible REM adventures affecting your sleep in any way? The short answer is no. Dreams don't affect sleep quality. Nightmares are the only exception because they usually wake you up and interrupt your normal sleep cycle. Frequent nightmares can become problematic, especially if they cause someone to feel anxious about sleeping. When they finally do hit the pillow, they can fall right into REM sleep, which can make the nightmares even worse. This literal nightmare cycle can lead to insomnia and other chronic sleep problems. Some even struggle with something called somnophobia, a fear of falling asleep. And we have a video all about that linked in the description below. Dreams might be one of those things the universe didn't intend us to understand. Until we can get a camera inside someone's subconscious, we'll never know what's happening inside their head. But it's nice to know that even the most vivid, incredible dreams aren't affecting our sleep. So, unless you're waking up from frequent nightmares, keep dreaming. Thanks for watching, everyone. Sleep well.